So you finished a painting and want to present it to the world in the best way possible. Here's what you could do. One of the best ways to improve the look of your art is to present it in a fitting frame. A properly chosen frame adds value to the artwork. It looks more professional and enhances the artwork's advantages and main idea. Luckily, you don't have to buy expensive frames just to show your art in a frame on the internet. With ImageFramer, you can try out and customize hundreds of frames and mats to your liking right on your Mac. Now, I'll look at a couple of paintings in different styles and go through the process of framing and exporting the resulting image. I'll start by opening ImageFramer from the dock. Now I'll drag and drop some artwork into ImageFramer. After that, I'll explore some frame templates to get quick results immediately. It's possible to add custom templates to any design you come up with. If I want to delete my frame layers, I can easily drag them out or press delete on my keyboard while the layer is selected. I'll look at some individual frames by going to the frame library. ImageFramer has an extensive library of frames grouped by material or style. From here, I'll go to the real collection and then open the wooden set. The wooden set is one of our largest frame sets, so there are a lot of different looks to choose from. I'll quickly select combo and increase the width so I can see more of the frame. I'll continue to explore options and colorize the dual frame so that the color pairs nicely with my artwork. As you can see, I like how the details in this frame match some of the textures in my painting and I'm pretty satisfied with the result. I'd like to do more to this piece, so I'll turn off the drop shadow and add a mat by going to the mats collection. Then I'll select a set and choose a random mat. Now I'll move the mat under the frame by dragging the layer over to the right. I'll adjust the width of the mat and bevel. I'll edit the mat color by picking something from my image. Here's a pro tip for you. Can't figure out which colors make the cut? Look at the image through squinted eyes. This makes it harder to see texture and subtle details, so the main colors will stand out better. This tip, as well as other educational material, is available on ImageFamer's website in the articles section. Now I'll find the width that makes the most sense for the image by adjusting the sliders on the right side. I'll turn my shadow back on and adjust the depth with the slider. And if I want to adjust the direction of the shadow, I can do so in the design settings. I can also change the background color, which allows me to see how the framed image will look on different backgrounds. This helps me visualize what it will look like in an Instagram post, my online portfolio, or even a wall in my house. Finally, We'll save the image by going to File and Save Image As. From here, I'll make sure the naming convention is correct, and then I'll select the location of where I want my file to end up. I'll change the file format to JPEG and lower the quality a bit so the file size isn't too large. And here's the result. After I've saved my image, I can post it to social media or throw it up on my personal website. ImageFramer runs on all versions of Mac OS, and you can try it yourself by visiting imageframer.net and clicking the download button. If you enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to like this video and subscribe for more content. Image Framer.